On fire three, three oh eight. Oh shit, three oh eight to Newark. Thirteen twenty-seven for the thirteen twenty-seven LNER service from Lincoln Central to London Kings Cross. This disclosure will be sensible. When we just missed at the start, they will put down at thirteen nineteen for a train that then passed at thirteen twenty-three, which is not acceptable because it was a passenger pickup at Highcombe as well. But it just goes to show everything is getting a lot worse when it comes to signalling. Whether it was last week, bringing a freight train pretty much to a halt because you forgot to lower a set of barriers, or lowering the rest well in advance that the train's still three cities over. One's an acceptable closure link, just over two minutes is the train. Angle 202. For London King's Cross. Two and a half minutes there. Very acceptable. Let's see how the next one fares. Just shy of 1342 for 1338 East Midlands Railway service from Grimsby to Leicester, which was set swapped at Lincoln Central. So this service is actually a Doncaster to Leicester service. Swapped with K13 on platform four. So the Grimsby portion has now gone off to Peterborough and this portion from Doncaster is now going up to Leicester. There's supposed to be a test train first thing tomorrow morning. Will I make it back here for it? It's that one that runs at half past five. Oh, 75 or four. <laughs> Leicester. And that with that, very quick.
But turns out, yeah, we did make it back. And yeah, there's still a fault here where the boom lights haven't gone off. And the crossing is completely off. It's 04.44, Saturday the 13th of July 2024 for the 04.49 network rail service from Derby RTC to Derby RTC. Which is certainly running under reduced speed, what with the high amount of additional time in the timetable. For this train to get simply from Highcombe to the next junction along being Booton Junction is booked six minutes. For it to get from West Holmes Junction into Lincoln Central is booked six minutes. And it's due a 25 minute turnaround there. Whether it'll take it, I don't know. All well, this is fucked out because of a we're up at Nottingham and then because of that it's misreporting everything else coming down again. Originally though to start this journey by the time it got over to the Robin Hood line it was two hours early. It does make a bit of a change to schedule programming then. Just shy of 0521 for the 0521 East Midlands Railway Service from Lincoln Central to Nottingham. The first passenger train in the morning this way.
should be about five minutes till our test train leaves the city again. Whether it will in that time or not, I don't know. Because after it, we need to spin the Azuma around at Bruton Junction, so first class is the right way leading out on its journey at half past seven. Twenty-five, three-five. The Nottingham via Newark Northgate. Even in night mode, that one's louder, because that makes all the sense in the world. We're now just shy of 0528 for the 0534 network rail service from Derby to Derby. The return of what we saw just before five o'clock. So this time it's the DBSO leading the train with a 37 on the back and on the return trip, nothing has any turn points. Nope, only Derby itself. On his way down, of course, after leaving Derby at 2051, it made its way over to Grantham, then over to Shirebrook for some reason to turn there and left Shirebrook a hundred minutes early before coming back down waiting pretty much two hours outside Nottingham and then filtering a moderate time since and all of these this way will be overwritten on its way back because they was the initial reports which don't work properly for circular runs or runs that faulty report anyway. <laughs> 